to another video. As you can tell by the title, I'm here with a Kmart haul. Oh my god, if you scroll through my channel or you were here since I was visiting Kmart hauls like weekly, you'll know how obsessed I was. And don't get me wrong, still pretty obsessed like with the odd thing here and there. But since we've been in lockdown, I haven't done like a big shop. And our shops, the rest of our retail opened Wednesday. Um, I can't remember what date it was, maybe the 26th of October. So... I was prepared for the worst. The lines actually weren't that bad and came up moves pretty fast. So it's really good in that sense. And I just did a big shop. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little throwback video and let's just get started. Getting the homeware stuff out of the way. I got this glass jewelry cabinet. It is gorgeous. Like absolutely. It just looks so expensive and I'm pretty sure it was only like $15. Um, but yeah, I really recommend. They also have one with um, a mirror attached to it as well. I got this pillow. It says Merry and Bright. And then the back is just like a sage green. And I asked for a new Juno cover that is sage green for my birthday or Christmas. Um, my birthday is on the 3rd of December. Christmas is obviously the 25th. So I was like, mm, preferably have that one for my birthday so I can put this on for Christmas and it'll go with it. But yeah, it won't really go with my bedding right now. I mean, if I have it like this, it probably would, but not like that. I also got this Christmas candle. This is in the scent Christmas cookie. I believe they had another scent. I think it was like Prosecco Fizz or something. Oh, <laughs> it reminds me of um, the toasted vanilla candle that you can get from Kmart too. Am I really overexposed right now? Hopefully the lighting's okay um but yeah this is amazing the size is great i can't wait to burn this i'm really holding myself back to wait for um christmas time at least december and to not waste it because i have so many candles that i've started i just looked at my candle collection and i need to finish those before i can start this next up i bought a two pack of an exfoliating mitt um these are only three dollars and you get two did I say that? I said two pack. I was a bit too excited and wanted to play with this. <laughs> so it is a face massager, like a little roller thing. I have makeup on my face, so I wasn't gonna do it. But I had like a jade roller from them and it broke. Um, and I went to go look for it and they didn't have it. The closest thing they had was this and I ripped the packaging off. That's why it's not in its packet. Um, but this was $6 and I don't know if I would pay for it again. <laughs> like if this one broke, I'd just kind of leave it because it really isn't worth $6. I got this cute AF journal. It just has leaves, like it's a creamy color and yeah, it just has leaves and says journal. Um, I have one quite similar to this. I had a blue one from there for this year and I don't really journal, but I write a lot of things down. Okay, that journal was... $4. Next up, I got a set of bathroom scales. Bit controversial. We have one in my parents' room and it's really annoying to have to go in there, even when, like, especially when they're asleep and I want to wear myself first thing in the morning. Um, so we got this one. Moving on to clothes and shoes and things. I bought one pair of shoes and they are these chunky, oh Jesus Christ, chunky sandals. Um, they actually do up at the back. Let me just quickly. Okay, that's what they look like tied up like that. I really like the look of them. They're a bit heavy, um, but they're really supportive because Kmart used to only have like the really flat sandals and I had those. I just had to chuck them out. I've got a little bralette here. I also ordered this online, so I don't have the price, but from memory, I'm pretty sure it was $7. That's just what's like coming into my head at the moment. How cute. And like dainty is that I realized I didn't have any like nice white pretty bralettes and this one is really cute staying on the theme of like basic stuff I got this pair of gray like pajama shorts I thought these were really nice because they kind of look like cotton on body pajama shorts um, they were eight dollars next up we have a little pajama pajama underwear set um i mean i would probably wear this to bed so it's this really really cute um what do they call it smoky blue color little set so these are high-waisted ribbed like they look like bikinis the top was eight dollars and the bottoms were four and they had these in a few different colors as well this one i saw first and it just like screamed at me and i was like <gasps> 
Okay. The last little basic I got was just this XL men's black t-shirt. This is a type of thing that you don't know you need until you get one. And I wore this all of yesterday. Next up, we've got this jumper right here. I got this one in a size 12. It's like a pistachio green color. And if you can see, it's like quite like a knit material. Like it looks like it's going to be itchy. Um, But this was originally $18 and I saw this in the shops before lockdown and I was like, mm, I'm not spending $18 on this. And when I went the other day, it was reduced down to $10 and I'm pretty sure it's just cause it was in like the winter stock and we couldn't really shop through winter. So yeah. Okay, this is the jumper on. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit itchy, um, <laughs> but it's actually really cute. I'm really impressed. I think it looks cute. I think this is a cute outfit, not gonna lie. Just a cute like, summary moment last three things i have to show you are three skirts first up we've got this really cute like navy and white midi skirt and it just has lemons on it oh, it's so cute so it's like quite a tight waist on the front and then it's elasticated at the back this one was 15 dollars, and i think that's so cute i'm not the biggest fan of like the little ruffles at the bottom but we'll see how they go okay this is the little navy and white lemon skirt the like frilly one i'm not sure how i feel it's a bit long for my liking i don't know why because i mean the less i show off my legs the better i don't know let me know what you guys think because i'm not too sold on it it looked a bit better on the hanger next up we got this little white skirt i think this is so cute this was twelve dollars probably gonna be really see-through okay <laughs> we're gonna make this one a bit quick because this is definitely see-through and i'm wearing white i mean <laughs> black underwear um but this is the white little ruffled skirt oh my god <laughs> anyway we're just gonna ignore that um this one's a bit of an awkward length as well I mean, I could have probably gotten an eight. That's how stretchy it was. And I've never been an eight in my life. But yeah, again, let me know what you think. Like it's still really cute. Still probably really good to wear like over bathers and stuff. Even if you're just having like a chill day at home or whatever, but I'm not completely sold. So yeah. Last but not least, we've got this cute little mini skirt again. It's a linen material, <laughs> but um, yeah, like a beige color. And I'm really interested to see how this looks on. Um, it has two little pockets here. I'm pretty sure they're real. Yep, they are 100% real. Okay, not gonna lie. Probably my favorite one. It's a really nice length. I don't see myself in a lot of mini skirts. So that's why I'm a bit like iffy when I'm trying stuff on. I mean, the belt's a bit like lopsided. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I just tucked my top into it. Yeah, <laughs> that went quicker than I thought. I mean, I've been filming for like 20 minutes, so probably not that quick, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Kmart haul. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. This is the most money I've spent at Kmart for a good while and it feels good to be back. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.